Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz and here is your detailed afternoon update on the rainfall unfolding across north and far north Queensland. Plenty of showers and storms still to come over the next week or so with some torrential rainfall expected tonight which could cause some significant flooding in the Daintree Rainforest area. All of the details on this plus more coming up in this afternoon's rainfall forecast. If you are brand new to the channel please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it but let's get stuck straight into things into the initial forecast and the brief on what's happening up in north Queensland right now. You can see a surface trough extending across into the Coral Sea, developing off a monsoon trough actually is sprouting up some significant showers and thunderstorms. You can actually see if I turn off the radar frames here, plenty of convection and plenty of thunderstorms materialising offshore from North Queensland right now. And the general trend and the general motion of this, even though it looks like they're moving down towards the south or the southeast, is actually crawling very slowly towards the Queensland coastline. And that means plenty of showers and rainfall expected to arrive there later on tonight. Now this is kind of a bad setup for North Queensland. Not only is this rainfall very slow moving towards the west, and considering it is moving towards the west, we've got this big, thick band that's going to come through like a battering ram later on tonight. But it is going to set itself up over historically some of the wettest locations in Australia, the Daintree Rainforest. They're no stranger to big time rainfall accumulations up there. And whilst they can handle a lot of rainfall in a short period of time, I do fear that the rainfall that they're going to get tonight into tomorrow morning is going to actually cause some significant problems. And it's not being talked about either, just considering the fact that this has needed a high resolution forecast model like the Axis. And I'll demonstrate that right now with the forecast that the Axis is suggesting. Suggesting you can see the high resolution that the convective forecast model can crank out is really calling for some very significant rainfall. And if we cross reference what the current forecast is suggesting right now with what's actually occurring on the radar imagery, you can see that whilst the rainfall is a little bit poorly placed on the forecast models, it is more or less identical in terms of intensity and also location. So again, we do need to be using the forecast models, the convective forecast model in this situation here. It's the only one that's providing an accurate picture. Plenty more rainfall still to come as well. I mean, Kansas had some significant falls overnight up to around 120 millimeters and very heavy falls outside of Innisfail as well over the last 24 hours, now approaching 240 millimetres there, and as such, minor flooding is currently occurring in the Tully River, which is expected to increase close to the moderate flooding alert by later on this afternoon and into early tomorrow morning, and significant flooding can also be expected into the Daintree River by tomorrow morning. Let's jump back to those forecast models right now and see what is expected over the next couple of hours and into tomorrow. So right now, as you can see, not too much in the way of significant rainfall currently occurring. That rainfall will pick up quite quickly later on this afternoon and into this evening as well by around 7 o'clock, heavy showers expected into the southern extremity, uh, the northern extremities of the Casper Coast between Tully up to the Yarraba Peninsula, and heavy falls also expected to be at this time extending into the Daintree Rainforest area along the uh, far north Queensland coastline. Now, like I mentioned in the first part of this video, the heaviest falls are going to be between Cooktown down to Cairns, which does place Mossman in the Daintree Village area in that firing line for the heaviest rainfall. And you can see that really builds up later on tonight. A very thick band of heavy rainfall that's going to be very slow moving from the east out towards the west is expected to develop and then collide later on tonight at around 10 or 11 o'clock at night with the north Queensland coastline. Like I said, with those heaviest falls being into very early tomorrow morning, the rainfall remaining heavy into sunrise tomorrow. And then by uh, late tomorrow morning, we're still seeing these heavy showers. They'll only begin to clear up by later on tomorrow afternoon. Whilst the rainfall will be at its heaviest tomorrow morning, we're still expecting heavy showers tonight into uh, late tomorrow morning and out towards tomorrow afternoon as well. And heavy showers will also be quite widespread, especially uh, into early tomorrow morning. You can see heavy rain extending down towards Cairns and even into the northern parts of the Casper Coast as well and inland towards the Atherton, Tablelands and Ravenson and Mariba. Some significant falls are possible there. And heavy showers extending north of Cookdown as well up towards, uh, I believe that's Cape Flattery and Hopevale, and then extending further north up towards Mumber and Lockhart River as well. We could be seeing some heavy rainfall totals up there, but the falls up there will be more sporadic than they will be in the Daintree Rainforest. I'm expecting some very widespread and some very significant rainfall accumulations to be reported around the Daintree Rainforest area. And even though it's not especially, it's not an especially large location, it's still going to uh, take in a lot of moisture, that's for sure, uh, just streaming in from the east uh, out in the Coral Sea. Plenty of moisture streaming ashore right now, and as such, we're expecting some big time rainfall accumulations. Now, this rainfall forecast here is suggesting right out through tomorrow morning, rainfall accumulations to be approaching 100 to 120 millimetres every three hours. In fact, we're seeing some numbers up here that are causing quite a bit of concern. We can see accumulations up to around that 150 to 170 millimetre mark over a three hour period. And to be honest, three hourly rainfall accumulations up to 200 millimetres into early tomorrow morning between midnight and about six o'clock around that Cape Tribulation and Port Douglas area into some of those biggest mountains along the coastline. They are very possible at this time, which will flow straight into the Daintree River and cause some significant problems to water levels out there. Uh, and I must be saying that one hour rainfall 
rainfall accumulations will be averaging 50 to 75 millimetres in some of these areas here, with peak six hourly rainfall accumulations up to about 300 millimetres possible. The fact that there isn't a severe weather warning current for this, especially considering that this is the access forecast model, which is the Bureau of, Meteorology, uh, Bureau of Meteorology's own forecast model, absolutely baffles me right now. Even though far north Queensland is no stranger to this rainfall, uh, I think everybody up there can testify if 300 millimetres fell in uh, six hours, we'd be seeing some moderate to even major riverine flooding in these locations. Like I said, no stranger to rainfall up there, and 100 millimetres normally isn't even enough to flood a drain pipe, but uh, 300 millimetres over six hours is of course the concern, that's for sure. And it is reciprocated between what the radar uh, is currently suggesting right now. I mean, between the radar imagery and the forecast models, you can see some of the heaviest showers in here approaching 40 to 50 millimetres an hour in terms of rainfall accumulations uh, out there. And like I said, once they get themselves up against the mountains, they'll only increase considering the uphill motion that these clouds will have to take. And once they rise, they're going to have to drop a bunch of rainfall. You know the stuff up in far north Queensland when that rainfall gets itself jammed up against the mountains. And that's why we get stupid high rainfall accumulations into both the Cassowary Coast and the Daintree Rainforest. It's because of the clouds having to climb the mountains up there and the rain shadow effect so some really significant rainfall can be expected as a result of this in terms of specific numbers we're still not 100 percent sure what is expected here but again i imagine tonight widespread accumulations between 150 and 350 millimeters extending between cooktown down to cairns can be expected with the heaviest falls being concentrated around daintree village and mossman uh, with falls like i said at the start of the video up to around 500 millimeters in those areas especially around daintree village expecting falls between that 250 up to about 400 millimeters and probably a little bit higher than that actually in some of the more mountainous areas into the outer areas of the Daintree Village. Some really significant falls also expected around Cape Tribulation. They're no stranger to some really heavy rainfall as well. I mean, just taking a look at the location there, they're in basically a rain bowl where the rain just hits those mountains and runs straight off. We could be seeing rainfall accumulations in that area as well up to around that four or 500 millimeter mark uh, in the next 24 hours. Some really significant falls are possible. And whilst this is coming through in showers, which means that the rainfall is still a little bit hard to predict and it is gonna, we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see what actual rainfall does materialize on the radar those heaviest falls are going to be up around that four to five hundred millimeter mark uh, in a 24-hour period with like i said heaviest falls in that six hourly period uh or this uh tomorrow morning where we're talking rainfall accumulations between midnight and about six o'clock tomorrow morning some really significant falls in that six hour period up to around that 250 or three uh 300 millimeter mark around the daintree village and cape tribulation very very significant rainfall accumulations like i said at the for the nth time this forecast update and there's no stranger to it up in far north Queensland, but for those in flood prone locations, you need to be preparing adequately for this rainfall right now. Get yourself down to the shops and prepare to be cut off for a couple of days. Whilst the rainfall will cause dramatic rises in those river levels, they'll also be pretty quick to recede as well once they get themselves drained out. We're not talking about days upon days upon days of rainfall up in far north Queensland. It will just happen very quickly, so those river levels will rise very rapidly as well. So later on tonight, no playing around rivers at all. Stay at least 200 metres away from all rivers and uh, water bodies. I mean, the ocean will be okay, but you know what I mean around those rivers it will be extremely dangerous so get yourself as far away from a river as possible uh, most uh, homes and property they should be fine and live, unless you do live in a major flooded area uh, where you do get floodwaters on high major flooding areas if you did receive flooding up in the Daintree rainforest from the rainfall event just gone back in uh, late January early February then you are at a risk tonight of some significant water level rises as well and I'm talking some really rapid water level rises so I would recommend monitoring that flood uh, situation very closely and have that radio very close by as well later on tonight. The latest information will be broadcast on those emergency channels and if there are dramatic rises in the river levels the radio will be the first uh, first point of information to be able to tell you about that. But yeah I'm expecting minor flooding to be widespread across the Daintree and also down into the Cassowary Coast as well. They're also expecting anywhere between 150 to 250 millimetres tonight uh, from some of these showers and into tomorrow afternoon some significant rainfall accumulations around the Innisfail and the Fishery Falls sort of area. Uh, significant falls possible in those locations. Minor flooding and maybe even moderate flooding in the Tully River at Aramango as well. Significant flooding, uh, however, will be reserved for the Daintree Rainforest, where moderate flooding at the very least can be expected from this rainfall event, and major flooding is now a possibility as well. Again, for the majority of these locations up around the Daintree Village and Cape Tribulation, major flooding, even uh, though major flooding is major flooding for those locations, a lot of these locations are still built high enough to uh, where as major flooding might not be a significant issue there. And considering we are only talking about very short, sharp rises to the river levels, they'll be very quick to recede as well, so we're not expecting a prolonged period of flood water 
waters. But I definitely recommend getting yourself ready for at least 36 to 48 hours of being uh, completely cut off, considering all travel will be very dangerous tomorrow with flood waters and significant rises in water levels still possible in towards tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And to be honest, the rainfall is also expected to continue deep into next week as well. It won't be as heavy through the Daintree rainforest uh, into Monday and Tuesday, but still expect some heavy showers continuing through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as well. So it would be a good idea to probably get a week's worth of supplies. If you're planning on doing the grocery shop on Monday, I'd recommend doing it today. Of course, up in far north Queensland, you guys are normally very good without panic buying stuff unless there is a tropical cyclone coming. So absolutely do not fall into southeast Queensland's trap of panic buying. That is a very strong advice that I'm asking you not to do uh, up in far north Queensland. But Play it safe, play it cool, play it calm up in far north Queensland. Plenty of rainfall on the way, but again, no stranger to this type of weather. It certainly is worth that extra coverage and that extra eye, though, so make sure you are keeping close tabs on the radar imagery. The rainfall will be piping up into that heavy zone from later on this evening and into later on tonight, and it will be at its heaviest between midnight and 6am tomorrow morning, where the very heavy falls are expected. Again, it is from showers, so the forecast still relatively uncertain right now, and things can change, but uh, it certainly is worth coverage, that's for sure. This rainfall event is very significant. We could be seeing some of the heaviest rainfall accumulations this year so far up in the Daintree rainforest. Certainly worth some airtime, that's for sure. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you out down there. Apart from that, stay safe, stay calm, and stay collected up in far north Queensland, and just enjoy this rainfall. A lot of people are very excited for some heavy rainfall. It will feel like a classic tropical downpour, and whilst nothing record-breaking is expected to come through tonight, significant flooding is still possible, so play it safe. That is all for me this afternoon. A special shout-out to the channel sponsors. Their names are on screen right now, and again, I could not thank their support enough. That is all for me, and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.